सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन क्वेश्चन यूजिंग सोर्स कन्वर्जन रिड्यूस द सर्किट शोन इन फिगर इन टू अ सिंगल वोल्टेज सोर्स इन सीरीज विथ सिंगल रेजिस्टेंस हेयर फॉर दिस सर्किट वी हैव टू रिड्यूस दिस सर्किट इन टू अ सिंगल वोल्टेज सोर्स इन सीरीज विथ सिंगल रेजिस्टेंस सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल रिड्रॉ दिस सर्किट नाउ we will convert this 3 ampere current source into its equivalent voltage source so here we will write convert 3 ampere current source to voltage source now if we convert this current source into its equivalent voltage source then here in this at this 3 ohm resistor there will be a series voltage series voltage source and the polarity of this voltage source will be like this here this will be positive and this will be negative because according to the direction of this current source and its value will be according to ohms law v is equal to v is equal to i into r here the value of current is 3 ampere the value of resistance is 3 ohm so the value of voltage source will be 3 into 3 is 9 volt so this voltage source will be of 9 volt now we will erase this current source from here now here we can clearly see this 3 ohm and this 3 ohm are connected in series so this will be three ohm plus three ohm will be six ohm so we will erase this and this will be six ohm now here we can see this six ohm and this six ohm are connected in parallel so again we will copy this first and we will simplify this 6 ohm parallel with 6 ohm is equal to 6 into 6 divided by 6 plus 6 is equal to 3 ohm now we will erase this one so it will be of 3 ohm now again we can convert this 9 volt into its equivalent current source so we will convert 9 volt voltage source convert 9 volt voltage source to current source so here we can see if we convert this 9 volt voltage source to current source then it will be in parallel with this 6 ohm so first we will erase this 6 ohm and here we will redraw the 6 ohm resistor this is of 6 ohm and here we can see the direction of this the polarity of this voltage source is positive here and negative on down side so the equivalent current source will be like this and according to ohms law i is equal to v by r the voltage source value is 9 volt the resistance value is 6 so it is it will be 9 by 6 and we will erase this voltage source now so this will be 9 by 6 so 9 by 6 is 9 divided by 6 so it is 1.5 ampere 
5 ampere so it will be of 1.5 ampere now here we can see this 1.5 ampere and this 2 ampere are connected in parallel so and also they have the same direction that is upward so they will get added and also here we can see this 6 ohm and this 3 ohm are connected in parallel so first we will solve this current source so it will be 2 ampere plus 1.5 ampere so we will erase this and it will be 2 plus 1.5 so it will be 3.5 ampere so here we can write 3.5 ampere now here we can see this 6 ohm and 3 ohm are connected in parallel so it will be 6 ohm parallel with 3 ohm so 6 into 3 divided by 6 plus 3 6 into 3 divided by 6 plus 3 so it is 2 so it will be 2 ohm so we can erase this one and we will make it 2 ohm now we can convert this 3.5 ampere current source into its equivalent voltage source so first we will copy this and we will write convert 3.5 ampere current source to voltage source now when we convert this current source to its equivalent voltage source it will be in series with this 2 ampere so here there will be a voltage source and the polarity of this voltage source will be positive upward and negative downward because the direction of this current source is upward so here on the upper side this will be positive and here this will be negative now according to Ohm's law V is equal to I into R the value of current is 3.5 multiplied by resistance value is 2 so this will be 3.5 multiplied by 2 it is 7 so it will be 7 volt so this will be of 7 volt now we can erase this current source So this will be our final circuit a voltage source in series with resistance so this is our final answer so this is the answer